Frank, you, you're, well, you're, I don't know, maybe, maybe you feel completely different about this. Uh, you, you guys were officially eliminated from, from winning the division Wednesday night. Uh, does that allow your club to, to approach the last two games in, in a more, not relaxed, but with less pressure on them? Um, you know, you're striving throughout the season, win the division, win the division, win the division. Mm -hmm. that, now that's gone. That's, that's out mm -hmm. of it. Does, mm -hmm. any, does any part of that help your team here the last two weeks? Um, you know, I, I think, in all honesty, it can work both ways. You know, it could help your team. It could uh, hurt your team. You know, but, um, you know, our approach is such that I, I don't think um, either one of those are going to occur. Um, I, I don't think w we're uh, going into this any more relaxed than, than what we would um, any other game. Um, and when I say relaxed, I don't – I mean it in a, in a way that um, they're not uptight, that they're – um, not ready to go. That uh, you know they're they're afraid to do something where they might goof up. Um, so, in, in all honesty, I, I don't see it uh, affecting us. I um, you know I, I think we're on a mission to to uh, win these last two games uh, to get to 500. Um, you know we're always pointing at what we can get done, um, and what we can get done is win the next one. Much discussion on your club about about bowl games, about making that a, a focal point here in the last two weeks. Or is it, you, like you said, we got two games left. Let's let's win those two. Yeah, yeah, and that's that's all we can do at this point is um, is work at winning those two. And so there's absolutely been no discussion. I haven't discussed it with them. They haven't, uh, to my knowledge, been discussing it. Uh, with any coaches, um, uh, you know, maybe amongst themselves, I, I really don't know. But certainly, in visiting with our guys, that's not come up. Uh, I did want to ask you about one specific play from Wednesday night. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe you'll remember it. So you guys had a it's kind of a trick formation play. You went on on balance line. You lined up Hagen out wide left. Uh, did you guys instruct him to do the cartwheel? Uh, was that a thing where he, where he where he's lined up out wide? And you just do something to distract the defense. What what did you guys tell him to that, do? That's that's what it was. Uh, um, it was trying to interject a, a little bit of fun into the game uh, when uh, when it could be. Um, you know, obviously the idea was to uh, with the formation was to use a little trickery um, and try to get a little confusion, um, and that just led to the cartwheel, which maybe would add to the confusion, you know. And um, he could not go downfield, so he'd either have to stand there uh, or he'd have to do something backwards. And so that's where it came to. That, that, was, that was him, him ad-libbing a little bit then with, with the specific action with the cartwheel? <laughs> uh, I don't want to get any more into that than what I have. Was that something that he suggested to you guys, or was that? No, he did not suggest it. That that I know of. Okay. You know, now he may suggested it uh, to Alan, our line coach, uh, uh, but to my knowledge, I didn't hear it coming from from him. So, but I, you know what? Um, I guess I better gather more information for you. You know, and I'll I'll have it after practice. <laughs> did you hear from anyone uh, after the or in the last couple of days about that play? A couple people. That's yeah. Be a viral play from the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard from a few people uh, about it. You know, all seem to to think that um, it was funny. You know, um, so we haven't gotten a lot of criticism that I know of from it. Um, it was a pretty good cartwheel in pads. You know, from a big guy. Yeah, from a big guy. So couldn't ask for much more. I asked this question last week, and I feel like it's, it's probably worth asking again, but, but what is the morale of, of the team right now, and, and is it where you want it to be? Um, yeah, the morale is where we want it to be. They, um, I, I think kids in this generation bounce back quick, you know, and, and uh, I think th there's nothing wrong with that, you know. It's us coaches that seem to hang on to things uh, uh, maybe a little too long, and um, so I – uh, our, our guys are ready to go. Um, they know exactly why we're where we're at. Um, they know they can't do anything about it at this point. 
Uh, only thing that they can do something about is what lies ahead, and that's what we intend to do. Uh, BG's had a had a tough season in, in the first year with a new new program up there. What what concerns you about the Falcons on tape or, or about this matchup on Tuesday? Well, you know they did change quarterbacks, um, which I I think has opened up their offense uh, um, a, a little bit. Um, I think um, obviously every coach uh, it seems like looks for a guy that has mobility now, and and you know their guy does, and. Um, you know, he can throw the ball, he, he can uh, get out of trouble, he can pick up first downs uh, running, the, running the ball. So, you know, that's, that's all there for him, and that's where a good offense uh, starts. Um, you know, they've, they've shown flashes of really, really being good uh, on the offensive end of it. And then, and then some flashes on defense of really, really being good. You know, defensively, they're a real multiple defensive uh, football team. They, they probably give us more looks, more blitzes, um, more things that you have to work on than uh, maybe anybody we've faced um, this year. So they're, they, they rely on a multiple uh, defensive look. And um, the thing that, that you, know, you worry about a little bit is you know, we've been a team that's been able to drive the ball. 15, 17 plays and, and go 80 yards down the field on drives and put points on the board. It's kind of difficult to do that against a team um, that is so multiple on their looks and their blitzes and their stunts um, because they're just going to catch you sometimes. And when they do, then you're behind the chains and, and you may not be able to continue the uh, first and tens, first and tens, first and tens down the field. So you hope for maybe um, some explosive plays uh, to occur. Uh, and, you know, obviously we've, I don't think, been great at explosive plays throughout, um, throughout the year and it's something that we hope to get better at the last two games. <clears throat> Coach, your offense has gone off to to a relatively slow start the past couple of games. Is there anything that you've seen the past two weeks that you guys are going to try and change that way against BG? You guys can kind of? No, um, you know, um, the slow start uh, in this last game, we didn't have the ball very much the first half. If you look at the number of drives we had, they were very limited. Um, we hurt ourselves um, with a bad snap that put us behind the chains on, on uh, either the first or second drive. And, uh, pardon? First drive, yeah, it was play one. So first drive, and, um, and so that's not getting off to a good start. You know, eliminating th those type of things would certainly be uh, uh, helpful in terms of getting off to a good start. You can't have that. And, um, and, and so that's, you know, uh, other than that, um, we had a couple, you know, three and outs uh, along the way. Um, we had one long drive, um, but... The, not having the ball in our hands very much the first um, half really hurt. You know, I think I mentioned to you guys that uh, they had two drives that, that took up a whole quarter of football, uh, 15 minutes of football. And, and so that's on two drives. So um, you can imagine what that does in terms of eliminating you from the possibility of uh, getting the ball back and, and getting drives yourself. And then we had no turnovers. You know, we, we, we didn't cause any turnovers, didn't, didn't get any turnovers. And so we're not getting it uh, that way. And every now and then we're having penalties. Uh, and as I think, Jason, you mentioned uh, an, at an earlier time that um, uh, four fumbles uh, on, on punt return team, actually five fumbles, but four of them got recovered by the other team. We recovered, we recovered one of our own. So, you know, those kind of things just keep you from getting the ball offensively and, and showing what your offense can do. I still, you know, I, I think it still shows that we have a, a very good offense. I think it causes people problems. I think they worry about us um, offensively. But, um, you know, the first half was not a great half for us, but there was multiple reasons there. With the 
you know, with, with two games left and, and maybe, maybe not a bowl game, or, you know, with the red shirt rule now, are, are there guys on your roster that you're going to try to give a shot here the uh, last two weeks of the season that, that haven't played up to this point? And if so, what, you know, what kinds of spots, where, where will you try to, yeah. try to, to offer them opportunities? We're, we're uh, obviously taking a, a look at that. You know, there's, um, um, there are some guys, uh, Def interior defensive line, uh, you know, for instance, Jeremiah Burton um, is, a, is a guy that we're trying to find ways to get him in the, in the game. It's not been easy because everything has come down to the, the, the stretch, but, um, you know, we're, we're still looking for opportunities for him to, uh, him to play. Um, you know, there's a couple of those young linebackers that um, would like to uh, get in, in a game and start their development um, that way. Um, on, on the offensive end of it, you know, there's always a couple offensive linemen you'd like to get, get some uh, plays so that as they go into spring, they're, they're just feeling a little stronger about things. Right. Pardon? And they got some tape. Yeah, exactly. Uh, to look at, to see where they need to improve and how it, how it all looks in a game, you know. Um, so those are the uh, primary positions, you know. Um, you look at the uh, guys at the wide receiver spots, you know, w they're all coming back. You look at the tight ends, they're, they're all coming, coming back. But, um, you know, the areas where you want to try to gain some experience as best you can, um, we're, we're looking at trying to find ways to get guys in the game. Coach, uh, I know there's still two games left to play, uh, but your contract is set to expire here on January 3rd. Have you had any uh, discussions or have you been approached about renewing that contract? Yeah, there, there's been discussions. Mm -hmm. You don't want to you wanna detail any of those discussions in front of us here today? No, that, that'll eventually come out and, and um, you know, you, you can obviously go from there.